Good morning, everyone. Father Malcolm here and Joe. Morning. Welcome to our first collective worship of the new year. And we're going to begin, as we always do, by lighting our candle. So here we are. Hopefully this is going to work straight away. There we are. Candle is alright. And so I'm going to say our opening prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you sent Jesus to be the light of the world. We pray, Lord, that you will burn brightly in the darkness of our world so that we may be filled with love and live our lives as children of the light. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay, well, it is lovely to see you all. Can I first of all say a very, very happy 2021 to you all? Now, I'm going to start this week's collective worship talk with a question to you all. And it's one that I think I know the answer to. My question to you all is, I'll find that in a minute, actually. How many of you have washed your hands recently? Have you washed your hands recently? Oh, I did morning? when I just came in. Uh, as I've been Brilliant. doing every day. And I'm guessing the answer from all of you is, yes, I've washed them very recently. And particularly, as we know, during this last year with the pandemic, we've had to be very careful about washing our hands even more. So, second question, and I'm guessing I know the answer again. How many of you use something like this liquid soap to wash your hands? Yep, yep, most of you, I'm sure all of you did, and it's really important to use our soap and really do our 20 seconds singing happy birthday to you through twice when we wash our hands. Okay, brilliant. Next question I'm going to ask is, how many of you have used something like this today? I have, yep, this morning. Toothpaste, Father Malcolm has. Really important, again, to keep our teeth healthy and clean so we're keeping our hands clean we're keeping our teeth clean i think you know what's coming next don't you how many of you have used something like this recently and this is my favorite raspberry smelling shower gel yep lots of you brilliant fantastic and again shower gel helps to keep our bodies clean, free from germs. As we know, it's really important to keep all parts of our bodies really, really clean to get rid of all the dirt and germs to keep us healthy. Okay, but another thing that we have to keep clean in order to make our houses safe is our dishes. Now, how many of you have helped out at home recently using something like this washing up liquid. Some of you may be lucky enough to have dishwashers, but some of us still have to use this washing up liquid. You have? Brilliant. Okay, and again, really important that we wash our dishes in hot soapy water or in a dishwasher that uses hot soapy water to get rid of all the germs. So we're keeping our hands clean, our bodies clean, our teeth clean, the implements we use in our house. There's one other thing I thought of. We need to make sure our clothes are clean, don't we? And here I've got a bottle of washing powder. So we wash our clothes because again, they can get a bit grubby. There might be germs on them, dirt on them. So it's really important for all of us to work hard in staying clean and safe from those germs. Now, as I said, it's the beginning of 2021 and quite often at the beginning of a new year, as well as continuing to think about how we're going to keep our outsides clean, quite a lot of people think about, OK, it's a new year. Perhaps there are some things that I did last year which weren't quite right. I'm not very comfortable with. I'm really going to try hard to do better this year. And sometimes those commitments we make, those promises we make, are called New Year's resolutions. Have any of you made any? Great, if you have, fantastic. Because we actually think 
Although we obviously need to keep our outsides clean, sometimes the things we do, so those thoughts that come from inside us and those actions we make or those words we say from those thoughts can be not very nice. We need to clean ourselves out to make sure we are living, caring, loving lives. And we can do that anytime, but sometimes people find it helpful to do it at the beginning of a new year. Now, the good news is God understands that sometimes we feel really quite bad about some of those things we've said or done. And we actually want to let go of feeling how wrong those things were. We want to genuinely say sorry. And the fantastic thing about God is that if we say to him, God, what I said, what I did was really, really wrong. I'm really sorry. He kind of cleans us inside. He doesn't literally use any of these products here to do it. But actually, when we what we call confess, which is telling God what we've done, and we genuinely say, I'm really sorry, God, I want you to help me get it right next time. He actually says, I forgive you. And that's like an inside clean that is there for all of us as followers of Jesus. And I find that really, really exciting because so often I mess up and I think, oh, I really shouldn't have done that, or I should have done that and I didn't, or I said something really unkind. And it's wonderful to know that I can just sit quietly and say to God, I am really sorry about that. Can you help me get, get it better next time? Can you kind of clean that nasty bit out of me from inside? And God does that. And that's what we call God's forgiveness. So as we all begin this new year, let's remember, firstly, to try and think about how am I going to live a better life? How am I going to stay clean this year? But also remember that if we do mess up, and I know I will, we can always take that time to genuinely say to God, I've messed up. Please, please, can you forgive me and help me to get it right? And that is really exciting news, I think. So let's just bow our heads and pray. Dear God, we all make mistakes. Please help us to understand and see those mistakes and do all we can to put them right. We thank you, God, that there was always a chance of a fresh start with you. Please help us to grow and move forward as we begin this year. And we thank you, Lord, for your forgiveness. We pray this in your name. Amen. Thank you, Joe. Right, we're going to sing a song now. And it's one we've sung before, and it's one to start the year. Be bold, be strong, because we know whatever happens, God will be there with us to help us through life's journey. So if you can remember the actions, be bold. I'm just sorry, before I show it, I just think it's a brilliant song for this, because we need to be bold in when we have to say, sorry, God, I got this wrong. Because sometimes we want to hide things away that we get wrong, but we need to be bold and tell God and ask for his help. So it's a great song. Yes, so it's be bold, be strong, for the Lord your God is with you. And then we repeat that. And then when we get to the I am not afraid, it's no, 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 I am not dismayed, not me, because we're walking in faith and victory. I know you know it all and you'll be brilliant. But then we'll sing it through twice. Be bold, be strong. For the Lord your God is with you. Be bold, be strong. For the Lord your God is with you. I am not afraid. No, no, no. I am not dismayed. Not me, because I'm walking in faith and victory. Come on and walk in faith and victory. For the Lord your God is with you. Be bold, be strong, for the Lord your God is with you. 
be bold, be strong, be strong, for the Lord your God is with you. I am not afraid, no, no, no. I am not dismayed. No. Those are walking in faith and victory. Come on and walk in faith and victory. For the Lord your God is with you. Well done, everyone. So let's just finish our collective worship today by receiving God's blessing. God, give us grace to follow him in faith and hope and love every day and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be upon us, upon our families and all who we love today and always. Amen. Amen. Great. Well, it's been lovely being with you this morning and we're going to see you again next week. So until then, take care and keep safe. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.